Last day. Last day of your school. Last day of your work. I'm not going to work today. But it's your last day of your school. You're so excited. Because you get to bring your toy and I bring your nest. We're even early on your last day, Miles. Because Milo can't. He can't wait to get out of the car. So I've been to Asda. As always, I went in for like two things. I went in for a magazine. Really, a prop for a blog post. Um, so, well, also some skincare that's blog post related as well. I wanted to do something about um, supermarket skincare and um, some salad. But someone's just like hanging out outside our window. But I came out with tons of stuff. I did go in for diet coke too. Oh no! The cream appears to have spilled. How annoying! Um, so I actually bought myself stuff to make burritos later because I love burritos. I can get some salad and some grapes and some healthy stuff. Isn't it weird how, like last night, I went to bed and I thought, right, I ate a huge amount of pizza last night. This is it now. Get it together. Holiday soon. Swimsuit. Um, and I went to bed feeling really bloated and like, whoa. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, hmm, actually. on the day. So these are the skincare bits that I bought. I got this, which I know I've had before. I keep finding little bits of cream and things. Um, I know I've had before. It's the Micellar One Step Cleanser from Enspa. And I got this because, gosh, this camera is really horrible for focus now. Um, I got this because of my eyebrows, because um, I'm really struggling with cleansing my face um, around my eyebrows. And I didn't want to keep using the face wipes because I don't think they did so well for me last time. I got really congested all down here, so I got this. Um, I got two Garnier masks. One is this sauna heating, so self heating sauna mask. Um, and this is really good. I've used this for years. One of my first ever videos, which I'm sure is not live anymore because it was so terrible. Um, I made some of them private, not very many, but this was a really terrible one. Um, and it was with Kaz, funnily enough. And we tried out these masks. This is so good. It's like £1.20 or something for two of them. It's just really great stuff. Um, and I think I'm going to try one today, but just like, just this section, not up here, because I need to avoid my eyebrows. But this was, again, really good for like deep cleansing. Uh, the Moisture Balm Tissue Mask I've spoken about at length. Love it. This Pure Clay Mask was on sale, and I've been really enjoying this one. I want to try more of them, but they're about £9, and this was on sale for 3 so... I was gonna have this for three pounds. Uh, and then I got some cocoa butter because I think this might be really, really similar to the Egyptian magic stuff that I was using. I've used this a lot over the years, but the Egyptian magic stuff was um, amazing for my sunburn, but it's like 30 pounds or something insane. It's really expensive. This is like three pounds 60 or something. So I'm gonna try this in uh, like when my eyebrows are healing and they need a little bit of something once they um, I've started to scab. I'm going to try this instead of using that stuff. And if I get any sunburn, I'm going to try this and just see whether or not it's actually comparative. Because for me, it feels exactly the same. I feel like it would probably be very, very similar. It does say on the back that it soothes skin after sun exposure. So if I get anything that's kind of vaguely sore, I'm going to give it this a go to see whether it can be compared. Um, and that, I think, was it. I've got a lot of other stuff that I wanted to include in the post. I was going to do something about magazines because i bought a magazine yesterday i bought look magazine which was always a magazine of choice i loved the sections in there where they um specified what was not specified they did kind of like a page on a particular shop i don't know why i don't do blog posts like this because they were my absolute favorite things in magazines to read was the look thing where it'd be like marks and spencers and show you like the highlights of marks and spencers that week loved it um so i bought that i haven't read it yet uh, but when Lee got home, he was like, a magazine? Like, really? 
And it was really shocking to him. So I thought, I'm going to do a blog post on whether or not people still mag buy magazines. Glamour is now one pound and it's super thin. So I know it's not a new concept, but hey ho. Uh, and then I got my burrito stuff. But I'm probably going to have some breakfast first. This is one chilled out dog. So I've been um, editing pictures and blogging most of the day. I'm going to make some lunch. Hopefully edit yesterday's vlog. And then it's time to go and pick up my children, plus two more children. Day has gone so fast. I'm currently trying to get rid of a spot that's right in the middle of my forehead. It's hilarious. Um, in other news, slight eyebrow update. I know I promised there would be none. Slight eyebrow update. Uh, this time around, I'm just kind of dry healing. I say dry healing because I'm not going to put anything specifically on my eyebrows, but I'm being a lot less careful, I suppose, um, than I was previously and um, washing my face as normal. I'm not touching my eyebrows, I'm not putting anything on them and like there is water going onto my eyebrows but I'm not like specifically rubbing them or anything. But when I do kind of just touch to see how they are, they don't feel sore really at all. Whereas previously it was really quite sore for a few days so fingers crossed. We started watching Real Housewives of New York again because we, we watched it for years, like we were so we were really into it. And then it just stopped being on TV. All the other ones were. We tried to get into the other ones. We watched Orange County for a little bit. And Beverly Hills. We watched that probably a fair bit. But it was never the same. The New York one was the best one. And we just saw that it was com coming back to E. And they were playing all the old ones. We were watching from series two again. And um, yeah, just like completely back into the world. Really, really missed Bethany and the whole gang. Jill. I don't know, Ramona, Ramona was a real highlight. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of Real Housewives talk now in these vlogs. 